Good morning, this is 3 Minutes of Truth. We're still getting to know the Holy Spirit, but today I want to talk to you about something special. You're communicating with the Holy Spirit through your heavenly prayer language. In other words, speaking in tongues. Okay, so we're going to start with why you should speak in tongues. If you are a believer, this sign should follow you. That's Mark 16 verse 17. It is the initial evidence of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. That's Acts 2 verse 4. Then it's a divine supernatural means of communication. That's 1 Corinthians 14 verse 14. And then it enables you to pray supernaturally the will of the Father. That's Romans 8, verse 26 and 27. There are many more reasons why you should speak in tongues, but I've only got three minutes. Praying and communicating with the Lord in tongues is different to having a a tongue in a church setting where it is interpreted. This is your divine prayer language that we're talking about now. Acts 11, verse 14 and 15 says, Receiving the Holy Spirit is a gift It's not a reward. So you don't have to wait and wait until one day you think you're good enough. Give up this, give up that, and then one day hopefully I'm good enough to receive the Holy Spirit. It's not like that. But if you're given a gift, you have to take it. If you don't take it, then you will never receive it. It will never be completely yours. I just want to show you some more scriptures. Luke 11, verse 11 and 13 says, Don't be afraid of receiving something evil. 1 Corinthians 14, 14 again says, Your mind will not understand what you are saying. 1 Corinthians uh, 12, verse 3 says, You are not mocking God. You do the speaking. He gives you that feeling inside of you that I've just got to say this now. And then you open your mouth and you have to speak. Some of us receive just one word. Some of us receive uh, just a flow of, of tongues. And But whichever way it works, you receive it by faith. And if you only get one word, you trust the Lord to give you another word until you're flowing in the Holy Spirit because you need this prayer language. It is a very powerful way of communicating with God because the word says you are praying the will of the Father when you're praying in tongues because it's the Holy Spirit that knows everything that is praying through you. So it is terribly important that you need this gift, that you have this gift, that you flow in this gift. What could be better than knowing right now when I don't know what to say anything anymore to how to pray? I've prayed everything and you say, Lord, help me. And you can just flow in tongues until you feel that burden is lifted. If the burden comes back during the day and you feel this urge to pray some more, you pray some more until we say you have prayed it through. How to receive the Holy Spirit. We've already said you don't have to wait and you don't have to try to make yourself better. And we've said that um, sometimes it's a gift that, well, it's always a gift that you receive by faith. But sometimes you just get one word. Other people get lots of words. Doesn't matter. The Holy Spirit has given you a gift. Remember that and practice it. One other thing about receiving is you can receive the Holy Spirit by the laying on of hands. In Acts 2, Acts 19 verse 6 says that the apostles used to lay hands on people and they received the Holy Spirit. And you see that time and again actually in the New Testament. So that is another way of receiving. You can find somebody you trust and ask them to lay on hands, lay their hands on you. Don't turn your back on this gift. You need this divine prayer language. So when we don't know what to pray, then the Holy Spirit prays through us. It bypasses your mind and it's the Holy Spirit praying through you to the Father and he always knows what the right thing is to pray. So when you have a burden to pray, you pray in tongues if you don't know what it's about that you need that you are praying or you don't have any words left to pray anymore and you pray until that burden lifts. If the burden comes back again, you pray again in tongues until it lifts again. Don't turn your back on this marvelous gift. You need it. It is yours to take. You need the power of the Holy Spirit in your life and you need this amazing prayer language. For me, it turned into craving for the Word of God and craving to know what the Word of God says. This is your divine gift. Take it.
This has been Jenny and it's been three minutes of truth. <laughs>